Hi, I'm Justin Rocket Silverman, staff writer at AM New York. If you're lucky enough to live near a large grocery store like a Fairway or Whole Foods, it's easy to forget that millions of New Yorkers don't have easy access to fresh fruits and vegetables. A recent Health Department survey found that a full 80% of stores in low-income neighborhoods are bodegas, corner markets, and only 10% of those regularly stock fresh produce. Last week, the mayor and city council speaker announced a new food policy task force to coordinate improved access to these foods in low-income neighborhoods. The task force will also work with city agencies like the Department of Homeless Services and the Department for the Aging to make sure that the meals they are serving their clients are healthy and nutritious. But some residents of East New York are not waiting for the mayor and the city to step in and last week opened their own East New York Food Co-op which will sell a range of fresh produce, much of it locally grown. East New York is historically one of the highest crime rate areas in the city. Although the crime rate has recently fallen along with the rest of New York, and murders are down almost 75% in the last 15 years, the area still has a higher crime and unemployment rate than most of the rest of the city. The East New York Food Co-op was started by residents who run a summertime farmer's market there, and last year received a $1 million grant from the National Institutes of Health to open the co-op. By paying a one-time fee and volunteering three hours a month, East New York residents can now enjoy year-round access to inexpensive produce. The co-op will also host classes on basic nutrition and cooking with exotic vegetables, although much of what you can buy there really requires no cooking at all. For AM New York, this is Justin Rocket Silverman.